What's up, guys? Thanks for watching another Jags video cast. Uh, if you haven't yet, follow us on Twitter. We are at another Jags pod. YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get alerts whenever we post new videos. We've been doing some video breakdowns here lately. We broke down all the free agent signings the Jaguars had. Make sure to check those out. Um, and now we're kind of looking at some prospects. And with the draft coming up pretty soon, we're going to be able to break down the film of the Jags players. But I'm kind of bored, so I've been watching film on just some draft prospects. Um, we did some good ones. We did Derek Brown from Auburn. A lot of people think he might end up a Jaguar. Um, so we did a video with him. And then I asked on Twitter, uh, give me a random player um, that's not a first round grade that the Jags might be interested in that you want to see a video breakdown of. And there's a lot of good answers, and hopefully I can get to a lot of them before the draft. But Thaddeus Moss was uh, reoccurring in there. So a lot of people looking at Thaddeus Moss. First thing right off the top, the son of the great Randy Moss. Um, playing styles are completely different, though. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with him when he goes pro. Um, and I want to look at some film um, from him this season. The good news is that he did play a lot of good teams this year. Uh, Clemson, Oklahoma, Florida, Alabama. Um, good teams. Uh, so that was, gave us a good insight on what um, he may do against better competition. That's always good for me. Um, he had 47 catches for 570 yards um, that's 12.1 yards per reception and he had four touchdowns he had two touchdowns in the national championship game against clemson we're going to see one here in a minute um his biggest value is that in the run game but uh, i got some run blocking plays coming up let's take a look at him as a receiver now as a receiver he's not going to be a guy that burns you over the top of the field the dude is very athletic i mean he's 250 pounds and he moves really well so to say he lacks athleticism might do a little bit of disservice to him because he's huge and um, has really good hands. This first play, they're going to be playing Clemson, obviously. He's lined up on the end line here. He typically is a tight end that does line up on the line of scrimmage, which is good because his greatest value to a team is his ability to help the offensive line. But let's look at him in the pass game here, right? So uh, the LSU did a great job with their passing concepts. They did a lot of spread, and on a lot of plays, they would line up Moss basically to the sideline, isolated, to just widen the field. And uh, if you can get a mismatch, you take it. If you can get an easy catch and throw, you take it um, and kind of work a spacing game. And Joe Burrow did a good job of identifying coverages and finding the gaps in the coverage. So... Thaddeus Moss is going to be lined up here on the end line at the snap. He's going to get the benefit of a nice little rub route here, right? Um, he's going to run a quick little out. Good catch. Touchdown. Now, unfortunately, we don't get end zone film of college games, so we have to just uh, watch the side view here. And look, nothing overly fancy there with that out route. Just a little speed out there for three yards. But he makes the catch. Outside shoulder, athletic enough to make the play over to the end zone. Like, if you read his draft report, it's like the dude has no athleticism at all. But to be able to make a play like this um, takes a tremendous amount of athleticism, even though he's open. And, it, you know, routine catches aren't always routine catches. So he can give you that. The quick out game he can definitely give you. All right, this next play is going to be another catch. And I like this one because he's going to get uh, yards after the catch. Now, he, he's a big dude. I mean, he can sit in the middle of the field um, in the passing game, and he can be helpful, especially to a guy like Gardner Minshew, who's never had anyone in the middle of the field to really help him out with any type of size. Um, but see, they're lined up here in a one by three. Okay, one receiver here, three here, trips out to the right. Um, he's off the line of scrimmage, so a five-yard curl, which he's going to run, is really like a seven-yard curl to him. Uh, Burrow is lined up in 10 formation. He's got his back off to the right here. Joe Burrow's going to make a quick little, you know, read. This might have been a – it looks, looks like he was throwing the whole time, uh, the zone read here. Makes the catch, stiff arms the defender, gets past the line of scrimmage. Now, I like this play because, again, another routine play. But routine plays are routine because good players make them, right? And so he's going to make this catch, and then he's going to get yards after the carry. I mean, he's going to get a first down on a five-yard curl. That's what you want out of a tight end like him. Because, like I said, he's not a, Tra a Travis Kelsey. He's not a Tyler Eifert. He's not a guy that's going to get out there and, you know, beat you on a deep corner, right? Um, he might be able to go over you. I mean, he's pretty. He's, he's got good hands that, in that 6'2". He can get up. Um, just makes the catch, gets upfield, uses that big frame to get upfield and make a catch. Like again, if you're Minshew, that's what you want. That's what you need out of a um, tight end. 
Okay, so now we're going to see one more pass play, and then we're going to get into his strength, which is, I think, the run game. So again, lined up here on the end line. Now, so we're going to see LSU here is in a little bit of a different set. If I'm counting here correctly, um, it looks like they're in 11 personnel. They got one tight end, one back. Then they have split wide receivers to each side. Okay, they got one deeper here. Okay, so they're in a two by one, 11 personnel. So again, they're, they're the trips to the field. LSU likes to do that. Slow little release. And this play is actually on Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow is going to make a good play. He's going to get outside the pocket, and he's going to find Thaddeus Moss um, just on an improv route. So if we look back at where he's, he lines up in the line of scrimmage, he's lined up here. You're going to see him run a quick drag route. That's the play. Um, the play is going to fall apart. Um, good pocket. Just I mean, that's just good coverage here. I mean, wrap, you know. Moss probably should have been his go-to target here, but... Yeah, I think it's Isaiah Simmons there, uh, maybe. Nothing open. He's going to escape out, and he's going to use the rep as a pick. He's going to get out, cross the little, run a little speed out, and get out there. I love it. Um, he's aware. He's aware of what he's doing. Um, he's aware of where he's at on the field. Good situational awareness. You would think someone who grew up um, around a legend like Randy Moss would develop some sort of game sense, uh, you would think. All right, so now we're going to get into his biggest strength as a football player, I think. Um, I think he has an incredibly high ceiling as a pass catcher. So I think he could develop into a good pass catcher, but at the moment, like if you if he was on the team today, you could line him up and do this and he would help your team immediately, okay? He's gonna be lined up here in this H-back role, okay? Um, you see fullbacks lined up there, you see big tight ends. It's a, it's a good position. I'm a big fan of that H-back role, and this is one of his strengths is that he can do this, okay? Um, I think we get an end zone film of this. We do. We get an end zone film of this after, so this is pretty exciting. But he's going to be here and watch his blocking here. Beautiful. Gets up in the A-gap, pulls into the A-gap. He's going to get to the second level. He's going to find the running back. And he's going to basically create the hole that springs the running back. Oof, what a move. To the end zone. CJ Wilson, maybe uh, another Jaguar draft prospect. Who knows? All right, so now we're going to get the end zone film of this. LSU fans going crazy. Yep, beating your chest. That was all me. That was all me. Yep. All right, so when we see the end zone here, it's you're going to really get it. Thaddeus Moss is going to pull here right into the A-gap. He's going to blow up the linebacker. He's going to seal it off. And he's going to open up the gap for a touchdown. Look, that's that's basically a what a, a really good fullback is able to do in that situation. Um, so if he can line up in an H-back and play similarly to a fullback, a blocking tight end. Look, you, we could he upgrades your offensive line immediately. Um Let's look at this next play here, okay? So he's going to be lined up again in that H-back role, basically just meaning the tight end but off the line of scrimmage, the inline tight end off the line of scrimmage. And he's going to be in the backfield here. He's going to be lined up to the boundary side of the field. Now, they got the running back lined up to the left. I guess you would call this 11 personnel. Um, you can see where the space is going to be here, right? This is where the space of the field is. And then it's important to know that when you're looking at film. Um, and he is going to close that space. He's going to pull, get a nice backside block that allows the, the pass here. Look, this is an advanced level. This is advanced blocking right here. This is like fullback guard blocking right here. And this is out of a tight end. Pulls across, across line of scrimmage, chops 47 to the ground. There you go. Look, that's good blocking awareness. You have to be able to get your head up. You have to be able to find the defender you're blocking. This and the last play where he got into the gap does a great job of that. Okay, we're going to look at another run blocking play here. Um, he's going to be lined up again in line in the backfield. LSU's in more of a tighter formation here. I would still call this 11 formation, but I would call it twins left tight, I guess, if I were um, categorizing it. And so um, you're going to see him just eat this blocker here on the backside. Look, this is this, he blocks with such ferocity. He has good pop. He gets to the, the 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 point of attack. He gets his hands on the defender, and he doesn't let go. So he basically is like adding another tackle to your line of scrimmage. And look, I've said it before. Here's another block here. I don't think Eifert is that much of a blocking threat. 
Um, he may have been in the past. He didn't do a lot of it when he was playing with Cincinnati last season when he played all the games in every game last season. I don't think you're going to get a lot of blocking out of him. I think you could bring in a Thaddeus Moss uh, to come in and really improve your tight end room and can kind of be versatile. I would think he kind of gives you what James O'Shaughnessy gives you, but he has a much higher ceiling than James O'Shaughnessy. Um, I think he can come in and play all the blocking downs. Uh, Eifert was tight end two last year at Cincinnati, if you, if you didn't know. Um, Uzuma, you know, because he could block. Thaddeus Moss, I think he has the ability to become a really good pass catcher, and he's already a good blocker. Um, that's a guy, if you can get in the fourth, you're really, really lucky. Um, he could be gone as soon as the third. He wasn't able to participate in combine events because he had a fracture in his foot. Um, he has had foot injuries in the past. I don't think injuries are a big deal, though, for him. But um, all in all, I would love to see him added to the team. What does this do for Josh Oliver? Look, I think it's Oliver's a couple years away. And if he is, and, he, and he's, a, he's an Eifert-type guy anyway. So you don't have a blocking tight end um, in the building right now. Besides with Sean, who's coming off of a pretty bad injury. So um, thumbs up for me on drafting Thaddeus Moss. I'd love to see him added. We'll see what the Jaguars will do. Make sure to follow our Twitter and our YouTube because we're going to do a live show during the draft. Uh, because since the draft's on TV, you might as well just watch it um, with us. So we're going to be announcing all the picks and things like that, and we're a much better show than, than they are. So make sure to be watching that. Uh, make sure to be tuning in to all of our new events. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep throwing us your feedback and your comments. Um, I love the criticism. I love the comments. It makes me better, um, so keep them coming. Hey, we appreciate you guys, and as always, go Jags.